Hello, hopefully you can hear me. Hello, hopefully you can hear me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh dear. We Roman Emperor had a long and successful reign. The Empire Bit of feedback there. expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the Emperor died, the whole Empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing Empire was Charles's son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Okay, so uh, do apologise. We're going to have to sort a few settings out <coughs> by the looks of it. So the sound settings need tweaking. Qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, veniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas Just let me know what my, my uh, voice sound is compared to the background noise. Panem nostrum super substantialem da nobis hodie. Dimite nobis debita nostris. Testing. Sicut et nos dimissimus debitoribus nostris. Et ne inducas nos in tentationem. Sed liber. Should be fine. Sicum. Right, good. That'll do for now. We can always tweak it in the game if it uh, proves to be a little bit out of kilter. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be too bad. Right. Uh, yeah, there are subtitles. There yeah, are subtitles on. For the uh, for those of you interested, I uh, I'll show you quickly show my the graphic settings that I'm playing with. I um I got a 1440p monitor, but I found that actually due to the optimization of the game and the uh, high demands, it's actually smoother for me to play in uh, 1080p because I can turn on the HD textures and then I can also put everything on high. So that's what I'm doing. A couple of things on medium, but uh, ultimately I'm going for smoothness rather than graphical quality. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm playing in borderless windows. I don't know if that's going to be an issue, but we'll see how it goes to start with. So there you go. Um, welcome everybody to Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've I was planned on streaming this after uh, the start of after the conclusion, sorry, of Divinity, but I couldn't wait any longer. I bought the game last week, I think it was. Just decided to buy it, to test it out, to tweak a few things, to get it all set up and ready. And then uh, I couldn't resist any longer. I thought I got to play it. I didn't want to play it off camera. I wanted to play it on camera and have more fun with it. So I thought, you know what, we're going to start it. We're going to start it now. And uh, I think somebody's been asking, a couple of people asking, what kind of a character am I going to play? Um, ultimately, I am going to play as a good person to start out with. I think Henry starts off as a kind of a young man, a little bit of innocence about him, so he's not going to be inherently nasty. But depending on what happens in the game and what happens to us personally, I think I'm going to try and develop the character 
according to what happens in the game. So developing him as I see he might react to the situations that, uh, that to develop. And that includes what kind of style he's going to adopt in terms of combat and how he's going to react to people in terms of speech and things like that. So we'll see how it goes. But we're going to start out nice and placid, innocent, not a care in the world, and take it from there. This first session is probably going to be a lot of uh, cutscenes and uh, story development. I think it's about, what, two and a half to three hours long, the introduction before the credits roll here. <laughs> So the first session is just going to be setting the scene. I mean, a lot of you may have seen all this already, but uh, we'll go through it one more time. But I'm going to I'm going to play this as I play most of my RPGs, and that is I'm going to hopefully create this character, create this story, uh, go along with it, and I'm going to take my time, enjoy the world, enjoy the scenery, and just really delve into the game. This this world is beautiful. It's made for exploration. It's not made to be rushed through, and therefore I won't be doing that. So if I start admiring the water and going off on a tangent, you know, you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> but you should be used to me by now. Not for that's why you're watching. So I'm playing with the control pad, apart from the lock picking, which is much easier with the mouse and keyboard. So I'll be switching between the two. And other than that, I think it's time to dive in. Welcome. If you've made it on time, welcome. Even Dark Phoenix Ninjas turned up on time. It must be a full moon or something. But yeah. So anyway, new game. Uh, Playline 1. What the hell is that? I assume that's my first playthrough. So I'll go with Playline 2. And I won't talk over cutscenes and stuff. So there you go. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. 
Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. <laughs> That's like... that. <laughs> You'd better not vex him. That's like me now in the morning. Quick. The breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. state you're in this morning what on earth did you get up to last night okay here we go we're in we're in we're in uh, yes it will be going up to youtube although there's an issue with youtube at the moment uh, it cuts the streams to two hours so i'm going to private the video until the stream is completely processed which may take up to 24 hours but it will eventually go up Okay, so uh, first decision. I think this impacts upon where you start off putting your points to uh, increase your level. And uh, a man after my own heart, good old chinwag in the local pub, always goes down a storm. Not one for dancing. So I was just chatting with the lads. Mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand, and that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. And, uh... Yes... Gonna downplay it. You know, prying mothers and all that. What she doesn't know won't harm her. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. Alright then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Alright. Well, considering he's a lazy bones, perhaps not helping, offering to help mother around with the chores, more concerned with his buddies. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Oh, come on, mother. Stop being a party pooper. Mother... You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the fort on to you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. Uh, then after Mother's nagging, we turn to the food. Always, We always end up turning to food, don't we? Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. And that'll do. We heard Pa's angry. Not a happy man. And we're off. We can move. We can move. Hello, Andy. I am ready. I am ready for Saturday. Uh, okay. So it seems to. Oops, did it? seems to work on a Skyrim-based system in that you level up the stats that you use. So the more you use something, it uh, levels them up. So the more you use your strength and, and, and fight, for instance, you get your strength up and stuff. So you've got main abilities, you've got combat abilities, and then you've got skills. I'm, sorry, oh, stop I'm busy. I'm, I'm back now. So you want dinner? No, I think I have dinner. Alright. What was I saying? Uh, yes, so same with these skills here. The only question I have, which I haven't figured out yet, is you get 
perks at the levels and you get like a number of perks at a certain level so like these are all level two perks can you pick more than one of these or can you only pick one at level two and then that's it the others are greyed out i wasn't so sure Anybody know? <laughs> it's Mother Demo. She came in right on cue, actually, in line with uh, Hal's mother giving him grief. Anybody? Anybody have any idea about this uh, perk situation? At least she's not. At least she's not hoovering this time. So the perks that we can choose here, um, we can choose one about food. Uh, okay, nobody seems to know here. Maybe you're all watching this for the first time as well. Um, perk. Oh, oh yes, somebody in the know. Uh, perks. Yes. So like, we've got a variety of level per level two perks here, and uh, and obviously we can pick one of them now. But if we, as soon as we pick one now, the other level two perks are they gone for good? Can you only pick one level two perk? Because the other perks are higher level. So there's a few for level 4, a few for level 6, level 8. And I just wondered if you could go back and pick level 2 perks when you get another perk point. Or can you only just pick one level 2 and that's it. Because it's the same with all of them. Like defence, you get a couple of level 4 perks there. A couple of, uh, one at level 8, one at level 12. Oh, okay. Well, we'll um, play it by ear then. Apparently, you can choose multiple from the same level. Oh, you can choose multiple from the same level. Right, so basically it's just picking the ones that you think would fit with your character, etc. And some of them do counteract each other. Okay, that's fine. So out of the, so we get a, we get a, straight away we get a perk point to pick at level 1. So we're going to pick one. Um, so we've got... Uh, the one that I picked here is... Some of them have both positive and negative effects, but uh, Scout is to do with fast travel and the chance of evading uh, enemies during fast travel, because I think if you fast travel you can stumble across random combat, almost like the original Fallout, where you're travelling across the map and you get into random combat encounters. Um, so this has no negative effect, whereas every other one has a negative. Stamina regenerates faster at night but slower during the day, this gives you more charisma, but then, however, your stealth skill goes down. So they've all got a negative and a positive, whereas this has just got only positive. So that seems to me to be a good a good option. And I'm not going to fast travel that often, really, but I suppose when I'm doing stuff off camera, I may make use of it just for ease. So... We're not going to be fast traveling at the moment, so we don't have to pick it now. But it's 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 worth it's worth uh, bearing in mind. We also get no perk points in strength, none in a bit, uh, none yet in any of those. But yeah, as we as we as we level up, we get these different points and the different perks, and they all give you bonuses and stuff. So anyway, we've been on the screen far too long, due to the disturbance. Right, for whatever reason, I'm getting a issue now with my performance. Bear with me. Uh, I think it's because it's borderless window. That's better. Right, okay, so we're off and running. Uh, and uh, oh, another thing that we've got to worry about is we've got to worry about sleeping and eating. And uh, at the moment, we are hungry. So if you go to... F uh, where is it? Uh, I'm... Stats, there you go. If you go oh, down in the bottom right corner, you can see uh, health, energy and nourishment. Nourishment is 40. And I think it goes up to 120. So a little bit peckish. Time for some breakfast. Now we could have uh, some cheese. 
We could have some apples, uh, but that doesn't seem like a hearty breakfast to me. So instead we'll eat rather slobbishly, straight from the cooking pot here. Bit of stew, more hearty after a night drinking. You need to soak up that alcohol, don't you? You don't come in from a night out the next morning and you have a bloody cheese on toast. No, you have a full fry up, surely. So eat. Eat your fill, Mr. Henry. Eat your fill. Nourishment 65, not satisfactory. He's still hungry. He wants more. But he can't have any more. There's no more no more food at the inn, right? Fine. I'll wash it down with some cheese. You can starve to death apparently. And if you get too hungry it starts to affect your energy and stuff. And a bread roll. There we go. So we're going to eat the bread. And the cheese. So we've had some stew and we've had a cheese sandwich. And that takes us up to nourishment 92. Which means we've probably overeaten. But there you go. Lazy and greedy. And then we go to see our father, who is no doubt a little bit angry at our slovenly ways. But look at this, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Fine day, got the smoke billowing from the chimneys, the forest in the distance. It's absolutely gorgeous. Come here, I need your help. At least you're up, that's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Okay, so we have a selection of little tasks to do buying a bag of charcoal but first we have to get the debt from Kunesh uh, pick up the cross guard and something else oh yes pick up the ale for my father wants it nice and cool he's not a demanding man is he <laughs> betting against me to fail come on <laughs> it's a no brainer isn't it I always screw something up what I like about this game okay I won't, I won't say that now just in case people are watching for the first time, it's a bit of a spoiler. But the, what I like about this game is that things happen regardless of what you're doing. The story continues on no matter what. So if you choose not to go on a particular quest because you're going to go and do archery practice, then uh, the quest goes on without you if you start it. So you've got to be on the ball. And I'll tell you about a cool little feature about this opening uh, prologue once we get to the end of it. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. 
Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Okay, so we get the cross guard. And we threaten to beat these guys up in jest. Says the guy wearing tight green pants to the men dressed in full garb. <laughs> Trained soldiers, no doubt. Uh, he's got a bit of confidence then, this Henry chap, hasn't he? Okay, so we're going to head into the village. Just going to take our time. We're not going to run down there. Actually, bull in the china shop. We're going to drink in the beauty. The man dealing with straw. As we walk down the lane. People taking bets on whether I'm going to lose a fist fight here. Who's to say we're going to have a fist fight? Eh? Who's to say we're going to have a fist fight? So there's a charcoal burner right in front of us. But uh, we can't. I'll have nothing to smelt the ore with, and the king won't get his silver. <laughs> we can't afford it yet. <laughs> so I think we'll deal. Our friends are over here. He's got a load of uh, traders here. No, no coin to buy anything though. Blacksmith. Implements, instruments, and tools. Everything for work and home. Women doing their weaving. All very civilized. Oops, I've come down a dead end. So our friend Mr. Kunesh here lives around this corner, I believe. Or near enough. Okay. <clears throat> God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Okay, so it gives us a bit of a tutorial about um, conversation and persuasion here. Of, uh, the crux of it is, depending on the situation and your level compared to their level, uh, depending on what you pick, will yield a variety of different results. But we can try and be... Uh, uh, aggressive towards them, we can use our charm or uh, our sort of nobility status, or we can try to talk to them with our silver tongue. It's a pity we don't have Fedoran here with us to help us, and sometimes we can bribe them. Okay, so we're going to try and uh, convince him to pay his debts. It's probably not going to end very well, though. Look, I know things aren't easy wife ran off booze is dear these days and you're as much use as a square wheel it's no wonder you're short of coin but a debt's a debt and i can't leave here without something be reasonable if i had anything to give i'd give it oh but i've got nothing so leave me in peace all of you what okay. is it so we were successful actually with our persuasion i didn't realize that we could be successful. every time i've watched this uh they they failed but He's told us that he doesn't have the money to pay us, so we have to find an alternative way to get what we want. Now, uh, that's put me in a quandary, really. An alternative way? We could nick him, but I didn't really want to. I didn't really want to rob him. Really, I didn't want to go down that line. Uh, 
I didn't realise you could you could be successful though. I didn't realise. Looks like no fist fights today. Uh oh. I mean what do we exactly do Ooh. This is his house here. And it's oh it is open. Oh Okay. We'll put that on the back burner. Henry is going to go away and think about things and maybe try to come up with an alternative solution to making Kunesh pay his debts. There is a, I think there is a couple of alternative ways. One of them is obviously to sneak in and steal the goods. I want to avoid that if possible. And now I'm sorry I did. Hey Pip, do you want to learn? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So... Are you ready to get stuck in? I'm ready. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Okay. I heard you could do that, Roman, and I don't know where he is. If you would care to point me, that would be the option that would make the most sense for the uh, kind of character I'm trying to portray. Going down the legal channels. No, I thought you could. The bailiff is a person here, right? Anyway. We've got more interesting things to worry about because you know Mr. Henry here, he's uh, all up for sword fighting and practicing. He's obsessed with the damn uh, sword fighting. So his father's chores are going to have to wait. Hello, Franco. So I thought it would be in the castle, but you can't get in the castle. And uh, I did in my uh, when I was practicing and messing around. I did actually go to the castle gates, and that wasn't an option. So I assumed that uh, he was he perhaps would be wandering around town somewhere. But, but uh, I've not I've never come across him. So, can we get started? Yes, of course we can. Try not to uh, batter my other hand. We can. It's Good. my uh, since today's the last time important hand. Seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Okay, so we get a bit of fighting now. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Keep moving. So we can lock on. You can move back and forward, left and right. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Okay, just let me chop at you, man. Good. Now you're getting it. Good. Good. Not bad. Again. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Nice. Very good. Oh, gotcha. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, Follow it with another. Combo maneuvers. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Ugh, tired. I'm tired. Alright, that's enough. I don't know about you. That's not enough! I'm tired and thirsty. I want more fighting! 
I want more fighting. Work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Maybe we should take this wooden sword and give Kunesh a slap or two with it, eh? <laughs> okay, so he's done. He's walking back at a very slow pace, and we have got uh, chores to do for Father. He's probably going to be getting very impatient shortly, so he shouldn't dawdle. But yeah, we'll have a we'll have a swing around the village just in case the bailiff is happens to be walking around. I doubt he is, but uh, villagers. Got a man playing dice. Everything for the house. God save Henry. And Knives, axes, rakes, hoes. Get the best right here. Have you made your choice? Greetings, villagers. It's a fine day. And I hope you'll honor me with another video. It's a very fine day. What the hell? Got a problem? Just enjoying the fine day it is. Very warm. Okay. Well, we're still thinking about how to get the stuff from Kunish, and therefore what we're going to do is we're going to head in here. Still thinking about things. You can't be serious, Dutch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitor. Now even the Pope God be with you, Henry. Your I'm with you, Matthew. So What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg. Where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. That's the bailiff right there. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? Too white, Matthew. Should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlor manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. <laughs> but doing some turds will do. Close second. What do you say, Henry? Burn it, throw some turds. But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Talk about peer pressure. Uh, I would really like to go and do stuff for my father. But uh, seeing as they're all looking at me expectantly and uh, sort of twisting my arm, I think we're going to go along with it. Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> my words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. He's a little bit, you know, childish fun. 
Throw a few turds. It's the worst that can happen. Somebody lead the what? way. What the hell are you doing? No, I'm just waiting for you. For you. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no football. There's no PlayStation and Xboxes. So what else are you going to do with your time? Throw a few piles of turd. Exactly. Hello, fiddler. Welcome. You can actually run and tackle people to the floor. I don't know if you can tackle them to the floor. It says run. It said tackle there for a second. Turds away. Oops. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. I'm playing it on PC, yes. Right, so we need to uh, lure... Lure her away from the manure. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Looks like Henry's got half his breakfast down his top. Anyway, she's been she's been lured away, which gives us the green light. Now I would really not be doing this. <laughs> This, I couldn't think of anything more disgusting. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Henry, Henry, Henry. Woohoo! Eat shit, Dorcius! You bastards! <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in the tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans! Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Spizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche. Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Oh dear. <laughs> Fuck her. I'll make you pay for that. Okay. Now you're getting your fist fight. Although, I don't, it's not one on one. So, right. Okay. Uh, Bring it up. Uh, I hate this clinching nonsense though. I don't know how to get around that. Oh, get away! I'm sucking miserably. Help me! Yeah. I'm not yeah. much of a fighter. Go! Yes! Yes! Two hits, three hits! Take that, you sucker! Got him three! Three hit combo, you see that? Boom! Jump to the side of the head! Boom! Boom! Screw the catch ball, I'm enjoying this! Get on your knees, punk! Run! Run! <laughs> oh, that was fun! That was more fun than the first time I tried it. I got slaughtered. <laughs> got a few jabs to the side of the head, got a three hit combo! We win! We won that one. I'd say that was, I'd say that was a victory. Come on! It wasn't Kunesh, but surely that's a victory. So whoever bit on me to lose a first fight, it's uh, payment time. Oh, the adrenaline, I'm sweating here. <laughs> ah, you, can't, you can't change it now. 
You saw me taking on that chap one on one. I got no assistance. I don't know what I'll. Well, maybe a little bit of assistance. <laughs> and now we're running away from the catch pole. Just jogging, sauntering now, just sauntering. It's hard work. Ah, it's good, clean fun. Throwing dung at somebody's house and then getting into a fight. Right, we can actually check our. Uh, have we got any marks on us? We have not got a single mark on our face. If that fight goes badly, you get loads of bruises and cuts on your face. We don't even look like we've been in a fight. God be with you, Henry. Thank you. Gods be praised. Oh. And we've seen how Henry is a confident fella. Probably full of self confidence. That's gonna that's gonna that's, that's gonna do wonders for his self confidence when it comes to dealing with people in the future. Half his breakfast down his front and his hands covered in blood and manure. Yeah. Very clean fun. <laughs> oh. It's nice that we're just sauntering away from the scene of the crime. In fact, we did a full loop and walked past the inn again. <sighs> Come on, slow pokes. I really do love the beauty of this place. <sighs> well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway. What can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to wash away the evidence in this in this here trough. Wash the blood off our hands, wash the manure off our hands, and hopefully just make ourselves look a bit more presentable and less like we've been uh, up to mischief. You can actually clean yourselves to a certain level using uh, troughs and stuff. You can use the bathhouse, I believe, to clean yourself up properly. This is taking a long time. Oh, there we go. Henry going for a proper thorough clean there. Right, I'm going to try this now because apparently the bailiff is in the inn. And if that was the bailiff who was talking to Deutsche, or whatever the hell he's called, then it would make sense that Henry would uh, go and see if he's still there to speak with him about the situation with Kunesh. Right I do use an SSD, yes. It's quite an old one, though, and I think that might be the source of some of my problems in the past. Oh, there you go. He's still here. Yeah, but you can't talk to him, though. Bailiff, I've got an issue with Kunish. He's, he's, he's not paying me. He's not paying my father. For... He's not interested. Alex, no? Damn it, they're not interested in my... They're not interested in my problems. So if the bailiff, the man in charge of the law and order around here, isn't interested in my problems, then I'm going to have to take my problems into my own hands. I've tried to do it the right way. And it didn't work out for us. So we're going to have to get our hands dirty and do it a slightly more underhanded way but you can't blame us for not trying to do it properly because you saw me we've washed our hands right we've washed them so there's two choices I don't think actually it's not two choices now because we can't speak with Kunesh anymore to beat him up for the goods which means we only have the option to sneak in and take them ourselves so once Kunesh is stopped messing around with the wood we're going to be a little bit cheeky whilst it's Still dead, that, and we're going to kind of just quickly, 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 shut the door, shut the door, nice and quietly, nice and quickly, and uh, hmm. a lock chest. I'll need a lock pick to get into that. I need a lock pick. Fritz might have one. Fritz, oh, Fritz, Fritz might have a lock pick. Right, okay, 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 okay. Uh, trouble is, 
Is he gonna see? We can't really see where. Could, oh! Let's give him a bit of time to keep collecting his wood. Give him a bit of time. Give him a bit of time. Chop a bit of wood. Perfect. Oh, shut the door. I don't know where he's gone. He's done a disappearing act. Well, in fact, he's well and truly gone, hasn't he? Can we pick this axe up now? Yeah. Can we not to steal it? It's not stealing, it's mine. Well, I've got something back anyway. This is not Fritz. How did things end up at the Deutsches? His whole house is covered in shit. True, but I'm worried that fucker hand will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Okay, we're going to need their assistance, aren't we? We've sorted out Deutsch. Now I've got someone else to deal with. Another beating? <laughs> Count me in. Kuna owes money to my father, but he won't pay. I'll have to shake it out of him. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Okay, well, that's not quite getting a lockpick. We could have got the lockpick from Fritz if we talked to him, but do you know what? Henry's in a good mood. He's. Jesus, look where you're going. He's got into one fight already and won. And therefore, we're just hoping to scare him, really, not to do anything. Has he disappeared? Has he, like. Kanesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. Where has he gone? He's vanished. Kunesh. I've never seen Kunesh. Oh, he's coming back now. He went for some water or something. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Jesus, where uh, so are you going? Sorry, sorry. Just shush, shush, shush. He's coming. What's he doing? It's probably because we've taken his axe, you know. Now he's gone inside. Get! What is he doing? Oi! Oh, he's coming now. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Come here, you old fart. For a bone to pick with you. What the fuck are you here for? Do you want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming for me! That's it, Lance hit him! Smack him around! I'm not getting my hands dirty unless he attacks me first! Self defense! Self defense! You old fucker! Oh, oh, smack it! Damn you! Ooh, missed him just. Boom! Too slow! That's it, that's it! Hit him in the side of the face! Come on! Oof. Ah. There we go. We got him again. Another victory. Hey, watch it. Enough. I remember you. I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? I understand. Thank you. Well, it's, only, it's mine anyway. Should have paid. Thank you, lads. Well appreciated. The village bullies strike again. No need for sneaking now. He's given us permission. Upon... Uh, a good old beating, of course. Ah, better. Right. So we finally have the goods after a uh, bit of an ass whooping. Uh, again, we'll take a look at ourselves. Have we got any marks? No, no marks. No bloody bruises. Nothing to give the game away that we've been in trouble. A bit of dirt, but yeah, well. All in all, that's a very successful endeavour. God be with you. So, buying and selling. So, we're going to be buying charcoal, and I think we needed... Was it ten or five? I can't remember. I think it might have been ten. And then we need to sell... Kunesh's axe, which actually isn't classed as stealing... Kunesh's hammer. 
and Kunesh's nails. And then we can then haggle. So we are buying. So apparently after this transaction we'll get 0 0.2 uh, groschen unless we haggle and then we can get a little bit more perhaps. Let's talk about the price. Sure, why not? So uh, this is how haggling works. It's easier to demonstrate it than it is to actually read it. It didn't make sense when I read it, but apparently this is how much we pay is to the to the north of the zero line and to the south is how much money we'd get. Uh, and you just kind of got to haggle. So if we go down to a roughly about say 1.5 try that what do you say to this we're getting there just drop the price a bit more so he's counter offering to 0 0.5 we've uh, let's come let's meet in the middle and say one this is a waste of time and that didn't go very well oh dear maybe because i'm dirty that maybe affected the the the, the disposition towards us Let's try again. Right, I need charcoal. I need ten. Or is it five? No, I think it is ten. Is it ten charcoal or five? I should have checked. Anyway, we'll try again. Uh, so we're going to get 0 0.2 groschen. We can't barter. Can we barter a second time? Let's talk about the price. Why not? So obviously it didn't go for one last time. Um, we're supposed we'll go to go for that. So we got 0 0.2 out of it because we failed the first time. We got the charcoal. Um, I think it was ten. Oh, it's, it's, we've completed it now. But I think it was. Well, I think it was ten. So the last. Item on the list is, of course, the ale. Getting that at the end so it doesn't get too warm. Father would not forgive us for serving him lukewarm ale. And then again, why should he? Can't think of anything worse. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir, I'm as honoured as any simple maid can be. And, apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Good old Henry laying on the charm. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye, bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Cool from the cellar! Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Don't worry, dearest. This evening I'll see you right. Oh, how? I do hope so. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Naughty, naughty. Okay, May so to... Lord watch over you, Henry. So to save the game, uh, you need to use a Savior Schnapps, which is actually a form of alcohol, so when you drink it, you actually get tipsy, um, to stop you from save scumming and stuff. But uh, apparently, with all the bugs and stuff... There is actually a mod out, or you can save it whenever you want, I believe. So I may get that, just for the sake of being able to uh, save it a little bit more regularly. I'm not the kind of person that saves anyway to get best results. 
not my style, so it makes no difference to me when I can save. So I'm not going to abuse it, so... But needs must indeed, because I can't think of anything worse, especially on camera, than having to redo a whole entire section just because um, of a bug or something like that, so... I think it's just for convenience more than anything. Especially when you're, just, especially when you're doing something like this. You don't really mind it so much on your own, when you're in your own time, redoing stuff, but... Uh, be rather laborious to watch everything again. Okay, so we can't we can't uh, dither here. Father's ale is going going warm, getting warm as we uh, just take in the sights. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Sorry, I was a little bit busy. Got distracted, shall we say? Not yet. I'm working Oops, on it. wrong option. And how much longer will it take? Sorry. Get a move on. We have to finish that sword today. Or do you want me to look a fool in front of Sir Radzik? No, I don't. I'll be back soon. Sorry, just making sure. Just making sure everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Grosh. Yeah, charcoal. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sorry about. Yes, we have everything. M my mistake. Yeah, about time. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the Master and Sassal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. We'll fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. Uh, not a clue. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. Oops. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologise to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Oh. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Oh, see that style, like that sternness. Right to let traitors speak ill of our king. He's very scary, isn't he? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Wise words. Take them to take them to heart, Henry. Take them Harris to heart. Ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. And you know what you're doing. Do it. Imagine if your hand slipped. Good. Once more. It would be awfully, awfully painful. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard.
He's hardcore as Henry. Father, doesn't, why did you leave Prague? Doesn't need gloves. Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Hello, Teresa! Teresa's nails. Okay. Teresa, Teresa! Oh, I can't get up the steps. Mother well, just chilling out. So our nourishment is down to say, oh, we're still, still lovely and satisfied. It's ten o'clock in the morning now. So we've actually got a load of stuff in here. We're going to take it all: nails, bandage, marigold decoction, and some more savior snaps. I wonder if they've increased the number. I don't, I've never played the game from its original release. I believe started playing from this recent patch 1.4, I think it is. Uh, I wonder if they've increased the number of saviour snaps that you get. Because we seem to have got quite a lot already. Eight. I'm not even out of the uh, introductory area yet. Bring those nails and don't keep Teresa waiting. Sorry, sorry. Shouldn't keep her... Fine, young woman, waiting. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, God she's fine. You've gone deaf. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sort of Henry, what are you waiting beautiful. for? Bring those nails. I bought them. I bought them. Henry. You're spoken for, young man. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. Henry doesn't care about the looks of it, does he? Mind you, you can look. Window shopping and all that. He's pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Oh, very good. Would you like to try it? <laughs> so, what good is a sword to a commoner? Try it. Oh. Come on, Henry. Show him your sword fighting practice. See those lessons paid off? Possibly not. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how, 
He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, says Pat. Have a safe journey to Sapa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. <laughs> have to keep going on about it. Meet them, or beat them. Then you've no need to learn swordplay. Both. Yeah. Oh. Messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh dear. See, I didn't realise, but I think that is that actually the King Sigismund on the left? That's a lot of men for a poxy little village, isn't it? Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? Flipping hell, man. Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Show of force, indeed it is. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. He owes me. His liege. I think assume it's his liege lord. Owes him.
He's a pretty good blacksmith. You won't remember that ugly mug. Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Run! Yeah, I think you better run. Find a horse! Ride to town! Yeah, that was quite... That was quite the graphic scene, isn't it? It's really... really Really heart wrenching, really. Very heart wrenching, in fact. You could not imagine seeing that yourself. Watching your own mother and father cut down before your very eyes and being powerless to stop it must be the worst feeling in the world. But it must be awful. Right, I'm going to quickly save this. Uh, some of you may know this, but the, as I said right at the very start, the game continues on regardless of what you're doing. And I read something that was really, really, I found really, really uh, awesome actually, in that um, if you get arrested during the the prologue for whatever reason, you get caught stealing, carrying, you know, doing something that you shouldn't be doing, and you get put in prison, apparently the game continues on and you end up dying in the prison as it gets torched during this particular scene. So that's kind of, I was like, whoa, really? That is really, really cool. So you get yourself locked in prison, and this entire scene still plays out, but instead of being out and dealing with it, you're actually locked away in prison, and you get burnt alive as they torch it. Yeah, I wasn't saving. I was, gonna, I was just explaining that situation, because we're actually getting chased now, so we can't really stop and have a chin wag. I think somebody is chasing us. I, I think. Yeah, there's somebody you can just see him there. He's coming down the road, so... Uh, and you die as well. Exactly, yeah. Now, isn't that cool? Okay, so this is telling us about horse riding. It's fine. They're trying to rape this poor woman. Oi! Leave her alone! You cowardly dogs! Horse! Horse! Run! Run! I've got the run! Go! Go! Distracted them and ran. I think we saved it. This is brutality, man. Oh! Go Roach! Yes, go Roach! No, you can't. Are you, are you taking the mick? Oh, wait a minute. Go, go, go! What are you doing, horse? I'm bleeding out and you're deciding to take a stroll to the grass? Henry, not, of course, the most accomplished of horsemen, I think. You can, really? Oh, that is cool. Left. Talmurg is to the left. Talmurg is to the left. They're firing arrows at me. Am I going the right left here? I'm not following the river. I think I may have gone too wide here. It's fine. We'll make our own path.
Come on, you slow horse. You can hear them behind us. They're shouting profanities. Still there, we can still hear you. People running on foot. Run, you fool! They're coming! They're coming! We're out of, we're out of energy. Our horse is knackered. We're going to have to take a breather. Probably get shot at the same time. Run! <laughs> ah! Run! They're coming! Run into the woods, you idiots! Don't on the road! You're going to get mown down! Go, 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 go! Come on, horse, you can do it! Come on! Stop resisting me! Ah, he's knackered again! Ah, go! Jesus! One more arrow shot and we're dead! Oh. your dogs Codex is absolutely brilliant. If you want any sort of history and uh, lore Someone about, give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. About medieval times, the Codex is absolutely awesome. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tartars, you say? <laughs> well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's oh. have a look at that leg of yours. With your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Uh. <sighs> Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> Poor Henry, man. I think this is probably a bad day in the office. Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? 
Were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. See you later, Shadow Ninja. Okay, so we are tired and we are very, very hungry. Naturally. Let me just check something here. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. That'll make everything better, I heard it? about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. What is she doing? I can't Please tell me what happened in Scalitz. Sure I have kin there. He had a fine reputation. Ooh, going all queasy. Ah, oh, I'm the lady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> thank you, my lady. Hint, hint. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Oh, I'm going to only be eating the best food. Bloody hell, man. What do you take me for here? <laughs> when you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So food and then bed. I'm going to actually take down the settings. I'm, I'm going to actually turn off the high HD textures just because I think as I'm streaming at the same time as playing, its performance is taking a little bit of a hit when compared with me not streaming at the same time. So this should help the frame rates a little bit. They are just dropping slightly. Ugh, that's not really much of a difference. 
Anyway, we need some food and uh, a bit of lentil mash. What? What the hell are you doing? Do you mean what the hell am I doing? I'm having something to eat. I'm starving here. Some roast duck. Yeah, I believe you. I'm next streaming this uh, next to every Tuesday. Uh, and maybe a bread roll as well, and some cheese. I mean, I, I've had a very, very stressful day, very stressful. Oh God! And I think I shall uh, eat, eat, food. eat at the dinner table. Take the load off this aching leg of mine. It's got a bandage on it, and struck it, struck with an arrow. Okay, so we got bread roll and cheese. Some lentil mash and some roast duck. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I don't think it's going to be the best meal we've ever had, considering the circumstances, but it certainly filled the old belly. Oh, damn, I'm tired. And after a full, hearty meal, there's nothing better than a nice nap. Can use it. Oh, cool. that's kind of cool. Didn't know that. So after letting our dinner settle for a little bit, it's time for beddy buys. Oh, and we have our own room here set aside for us, so where we can. Uh, be on our own and get some shut eye. Nanite, Roman. And it literally is Nanite from Henry because he's off to bed. So, uh, like commanded, we are going to do as we were asked and uh, get ready for bed. Taking off our attire and resting up for the night. And resting until morning. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. <laughs> Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? It is I, Henry. My lady. <laughs> Shall I look at a mad witch? Um, it is I. I have knew. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Oh, spiced wine, perhaps? It's just what you need. Yeah. You sleep. Thank you. Just what I needed. Lady. I was already asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I really shouldn't. <laughs> Sorry. To I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. Oh, it's a second. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. That's the third one. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Well, seeing as you're here and you've already woke me up and you've given me some wine, I suppose we'd better talk. Although Henry's probably thinking, just let me sleep! I've had a stressful day! 
And I don't really want to tell you the story again. This is secondary. What's it called? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. When you when you force somebody to relive something, it's like secondary victimization, is it, or something like that? Go on then. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It's a bit early for counselling. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. And what did we do first? We went to collect a debt. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. Yeah, but it's a bit soon though, isn't it? It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Indeed he was. And then we talked about life, and one minute was there, next minute was Father gone. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Yeah. A huge horde. Huge. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Deutsch apparently fell. But that's just, this is the one that hurts the most. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. And then the siege began. No, I needed a horse. I went to a horse and I, I rescued a woman. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening... You thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. He's left that open to interpretation, hasn't he? I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. He's left that open to interpretation. I mean, we just whistled. He made it sound like he beat him with the, with the sword. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek. 
who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, <laughs> but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. <laughs> after he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. What she's trying to say, Henry, is she needs some action. You're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Oh, what a charmer. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? Exactly! You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Thank you, ma'am, my lady, whatever you call them. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. I'm sure you did. Good night, and God bless. Cheeky smile, look no. at that. Old Henry, little, like, like moss to a flame, huh? Like moss to a flame. Even when he's dressed like that in his white things. I can't call them pyjamas, what the hell are them? Bed clothes? She's talking the food. I'm bringing food. I'm bringing food, my pretty. I'm bringing food, Henry. And then I'm going to take the food away from you. Because I only came to uh, chew the fat and judge the situation. Does he like me? Can I manipulate him to get what I want? Finally gets to sleep after the ear bending of a lifetime and has a nightmare like that. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> oh, more disturbances! What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scalop. I just want to sleep. No, no magic in this game. It's completely realistic. Go to the battlements. I don't want to go. I just want to sleep. I've been disturbed twice. What time is it? It's now 2 a.m. Oh, right. On with the clothes. Can't go out. It's absolutely hammering it down with rain now. So we put our clothes back on, reluctantly. They're even more dirty than when we left uh, left uh, Scalitz. Let alone uh, breakfast spilled down. It's now breakfast and dinner. Uh, somebody asked, is there spice? I think it was Haller asked if there was spiced wine in this game. And as I said, the actual codex is really, really good. It gives you a, a list of all the key characters. It also gives you a list about society and all different uh, medieval practices and things. And it's really, really interesting. But one of the things that I saw was to do with drinks. 
I don't know if it's unlocked yet, but it told you about wine. Uh, general. Beverages, there you go. Wine was drunk primarily at court and in the monasteries. It differed from today's by its spicy, very sweet taste. So, actually, this wine in medieval times is naturally spiced wine. So, yeah, Hawler, you could say that it is spiced wine. But, yeah, if you read down that list of codexes, it really is. It gives you some real good backstory. Um, well, not backstory, but sort of medieval history about the times to further immerse you into the uh, setting. It's really, really good. Anyway, we need to pick this torch up and go running to the battlements because something is going down. I th can't... What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'm pulling out my sword. That is not right. Bear with me, Henry's having... It's, it's, it's two o'clock in the morning, he's had no sleep, he's a bit confused. Just give him a second. There we go. Nice night to be on the battlements, I see. Good grief. What's going on? Good health to you. Do you know what's happening? Sigismund, who else? That bastard conquered Skullitz and now he's come to take Talmberg. That's not good. This is part two now. It's following us like a bad smell. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands and all will end well. Hey, you men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly! What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmerg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalitz to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. What a relief. Is there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. 
It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hamish. I will, and good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. So they got out in one piece, which is good to know. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled. And report everything to me at once. Understood? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements? The no, I want to sleep! A request or an order? <laughs> I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. So we don't get to sleep then. We need to keep watch. In the pouring rain. This day just keeps getting better. <laughs> Carry on men. Sir Robard, I will watch keenly as you go and get dry. Don't mind me. I'm just a little boy minion here. God be with you. Uh, I need sleep. What do you think about how the Scalitz folk managed to flee the siege? Thank the Lord. I thought it was Sigismund descending on us. It seems everyone thought that. Well, we were all expecting the worst. And the truth is, I'm still worried what will happen when Sigismund comes here. And come he will, of that I'm sure. I just hope we'll be as fortunate when we're face to face with that fucker. By the way, Henry, my condolences. Thank you. Wandering around like a stray sheep must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Okay, so we have a guard duty buddy here. Lean against the wall. Rest our injured leg. And keep watch till morning. Something appears to be happening. Look at that. Hello, something's hap hello buddy. Something's ha something's happening. Let's go, let's go! 
What's going on? Go, go! Okay, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming! What the hell are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going like you've been told. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tarnberg. Shit. That's the bastard who let the attack at Scarlet and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. You don't want to end up like them. I am Sir Mark Wart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Wart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Sir Radzik Kobila is not at Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Yes, indeed. He is a master of diplomacy. But did said diplomacy work? Live to fight another day. That sounds like that's going to be the story of the story of our lives. We live to fight another day. We scrape through another day. 
you ugly son of a bitch. Okay, so we've got some new objectives here. Henry. Remember you were telling me you looked the house over to see what needed I think you can do yeah, you can do uh have your hair cut and you can also change your beard as well, I believe. Uh, eventually, I think at the bathhouse. Um so we have some new objectives here. Henry wants to bury his loved ones in skeletons, which makes sense. We would want to do that. Whether it's the right time to do that with uh, the current situation is another matter. But Henry wants it and therefore we shall try and achieve that for him. And therefore we need Sir Robard's blessing, if you will, to get out. Maybe he will help us. And also a horse to make it back all that way. So that is what we are going to try and see if we can achieve. Now first of all, we're going to put this torch away. It's now uh, daytime. Sorry, sorry, I am confused again. I need to put my torch away. There we go. Yeah, you can get a haircut. You can. I think it was. I think it was introduced in the latest patch. I may be wrong. But that's what I was. That's what I was under the impression of. Yeah, I believe so. I'm almost 90% sure that you can actually now get haircuts and beard trims at the bath. When I say cuts and trims, you can pick from about four or five different styles. And we're just going to nice, just take a nice gentle pace. We're not going to rush around everywhere. At times we will walk, we will drink in the scenery, as I said at the very start. These are the, this is a sort of game that really, you just don't want to be rushing through for no reason. The sun is rising. Well, it's pretty, just much, pretty much risen now. We've got rolling hills. We've got a small village down there. The woodland is just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so Robard is here, chilling out against the wall. Good day to you. And we can uh, talk about uh, other stuff as well. So we will do. Apparently this might increase our speech as well, which is useful. Where did these humans come from anyway? I don't know much about them. Only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalets and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Uh... These troops from Granaries, afraid of the Kuttenberg insurgent lords, possibly. Strategic position and strong fortifications. Why does, it, why does anybody wage war? It's usually about money, isn't it? It's usually about money. Loot. Resources. So he could loot it? Correct. Hey! King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city. 
while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Okay, now cutting to the chase, which is the main reason why we've come to speak to you. We thought we'd burrow him up first with a bit of conversation, and then we're going for the kill. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I know, but I have to... I'm just telling you exactly the reason why. No beating about the bush. Try, try, let me out before I lose my temper. Yeah, that's really going to wash, isn't it? <laughs> No, I think we're just telling him exactly how it is. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Forget it? Oh, wow. That was just like, tch, not even a, a hint of a, a grain of hope. Forget it! Damn it! Damn it! Jobst. So we have to find an alternative. No, I don't think. Well, it would make sense. It would be too easy just to convince him and off he trot into the sunset. Or the sun rises, as the case may be. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. Uh, trader, yes, it's a trader here. Can you tell here? me who I can buy something from or sell to? You want Votovar, the fellow that fixes the weir at the Tamburg fish pond. He should be around the granary somewhere. What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that, but it was a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful, unpredictable. He abducts the king, raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. Oh, how did he take that? So the first thing that would come to Henry's mind, in my opinion, would be who's been the most helpful person so far here. Somebody who insisted we have some nice food. Someone who came sneaking into our bedroom. Offering us food and wine. She seems to be quite amenable. And she's female, so she probably has a softer side. And if we start laying it on thick about how we want to bury our dead parents, she may help us. Plus, she's the wife of the lord of this place. So she's in a position as well. So, yeah, good old Lady Doe Eyes is the perfect candidate for Henry to go and try to convince to uh, assist us in this little task of ours. You just have to find her, which is going to be the issue. Now, last time we saw her, she was in the kitchen. I don't think that's where she resides. If I was to have a, if I was to hazard a guess, she's probably up high somewhere. You know, penthouse apartment and all that kind of jazz. So we have... We're going, to, we're going to be careful because we can actually start trespassing in places we're not supposed to be, which is not exactly what we want to do. <laughs> and opening doors probably isn't the best idea either, but we really do need to find her. Is that her? Well, sh she came into our room... <laughs> I'd really. Oh, this is awkward. Uh, you reckon she'd like it? You reckon she'd like it? Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, maybe we can like sort of pretend that we're lost. Wait a minute. She's she's obviously getting up now. She's getting up. She's probably going to come out. Put her clothes on. We'll give her a moment. We'll give her a moment. Uh, la, 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 whistling away. Oh, oh, my lady, my my lady, please. 
The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? Well played, Henry. Well played. I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle. And your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? Anybody could have left her door open. It wasn't forced to be us. We were just coming up the stairs and we just bumped into her. You saw it. Yeah, again, telling it as it is. We need to bury our parents. And maybe shed a few tears, Henry. Lay it on thick. My parents are lying in the mud of scallops at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's terrible. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. Oh, don't worry if about me. I could me. just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But, but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you, and he'll let you go. Good thinking. He's got a f I just noticed he's actually got a few marks and scratches and stuff. Is that supposed to be from our fights? So apparently we need to get armor. Where can I get armor? And where can I get the armor? At the armory? Oh, makes sense. Where's that? <laughs> In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. Ah, so we can get it from the armory, or we can get it from sleeping guards who take their armor off to go to bed. Okay. Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujit to ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. And we may have to pull a way to get some cash. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money. Unfortunately, I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Oh, nice. Thank you, my lady. My lady. I'll repay you, I swear. 25 groschen. Bloody hell. It's probably not a lot, really, but compared to what we got in the uh, in the early uh, in the first first uh, part of this, twenty five seems like a lot to me. Re yeah, we'll repay you, my lady. Thank you, my lady. I must go now. Well, that went that went uh, better than I thought. We can actually come back and ask if we look like a soldier to see if it's a good enough disguise. <laughs> cool. My lady. I hope you weren't unduly distressed by the arrival of Sigismund's army this morning. Well, it was to be expected. And thanks to God's mercy and my good husband, there was no more bloodshed. But it's something else that distresses me. Maybe my mind deceives me. But I have an evil foreboding. You, my lady? Surely not. No evil could possibly come to you. I Henry. fear something bigger and worse will come. That Sigismund is only another omen of imminent evil. Of great evil. Henry, stepping on dangerous waters. Or stepping in, rather, rather than on. Iced over waters, soon to fall. Soon to crack under your weight. <laughs> well, we have some cro we have some coin. We have a potential plan. We just have to execute said plan. So there's two choices. We can either steal armor, which seems like a very, very risky affair, or we can try and pilfer armor from sleeping guards, which we probably can't do now, at like eight o'clock in the morning. Now, both options are risky. And to be quite honest with you, I'd, pr I'd, I'd probably rather chance taking some armor from a room that's not occupied, which means that I would rather go to the armory. Because technically both is stealing, right? So, rather than risking taking armour from a guard that is awake, I mean sleeping, and at the risk of him waking up, I'd rather go and take it from the, uh, the armory. Now, would we be better off doing this in the night time or in now? The armory is around here somewhere. We 
You're in a private area. Am I now? And uh, so this is locked, and we require a lock pick, which we don't have. But we were told where the trader is, and we now have some money. So I think it's probably safest and easiest to buy a couple of lock picks with the money we've got, and then use those lock picks to open that chest take the armour, take a horse and tell this man that we are off on a mission for Sadivish. Good health to you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to do that kind of stuff on camera. I'd rather do it off. I just think it's a little bit gamey, if that makes sense. I mean, I know you would actually probably practice your sword fighting and you would do these kind of things in real life, you know, exercising to get your stamina up and stuff. Actually, it does make sense, but uh, I will do that off camera. So lockpicks here cost 18, so I think two should be enough. I am going to save it before I do it just to prevent us having to reload because if we run out of coin we're going to struggle. Well we don't actually we wouldn't have to reload we just have to change our plan wouldn't we. But I think two lockpicks in case we break one we would have to pay 36 and we only have 25. Do we have anything that we can sell? We have a poor quality arrow We can't sell any. We could sell some Saviour Schnapps. We could sell one Saviour Schnapps. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. Save one of them. People are probably screaming, No, that's very, very, very lucrative stuff you're selling. But I'm sure it's fine. A couple of arrows. Keep the bandages, because you never know, things could get really bad. So apparently we would have to pay 9.5 for these two lockpicks and trading for a couple of bits. So we're going to, of course, haggle. Let's talk about the price. See if we can get that price down to... Oh, so it was 9. Point, what did it say? Was it 9.5? Let's see if we can... How does this work? So we're paying or get is that is this better? So we only pay seven? Since it's you. That's not enough. So he says he wants us to pay nine, which is which is how about we pay eight? Alright, so. So we've got a little tiny discount. Hello, Mr. Villager. God be with you. God be praised. Okay, same conversations. I see you. You were trying to do a statue impression. Don't think I didn't notice. Oh, there's a guard there now. Um, that's awkward. And he's turning around and looking around and he's uh, being... Okay. Uh, we need to be inconspicuous here. Uh, la 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 Nothing to see. I'm going back down the steps. Did he see me? Did he see me? I don't think he saw me. Okay, this is risky. Right, now I'm going to have to use uh, keyboard and mouse for this bit, but I am going to actually save it at this point. Should I save it at this point? Yeah. Oh, that's probably bad. That's probably bad. Save your schnapps makes you drunk. It's, not, it's, a, it's an alcohol. You don't want to be drunk when you're starting lockpicking, surely. Hello? Oh, hey, so you. oh! What are you doing? Sorry, I. Fuck off before I lose my temper. I thought it was the toilet. Hmm. I thought it was the, the privy. Apologies. 
Holy moly. Oh, this is... Oh, I've drunk Savior Schnapps and therefore it makes my inconspicuousness go up because I'm drunk and therefore probably be making noise. Um, that was a really bad choice. Where's the stats? Yeah, conspicuousness went up to 67, which means that uh, they probably heard me doing something I shouldn't have been. It's a good job that I didn't start lockpicking at that point. Right, I think it's probably best if we uh, do this in the hours of darkness. So we're going to uh, retire to our room. We need some sleep anyway. We didn't get a good sleep last night. We were disturbed and therefore we shall have our sleep during the day and we shall come out during the hours of darkness, sleep off this impending drunken hangover we've got. You can already see the screen is just starting to wobble very slightly as the Savior Schnapps kicks in. Uh, so, oh, oh, that guard isn't coming around to check on us, is he? Good grief. Shut the door, Amy. Shut the door, you fool. God, getting into trouble. Right, we'll keep our clothes on. It's just, an, it's just a nap. We'll maybe take our shoes off. Get comfy. But we'll keep the rest of our clothes on. Dirt and all. Right. Um, I think we can sleep. It's quite early. I don't think we need to sleep for too long. I was going to sleep until the hours of darkness, but that's actually quite a long time. But will probably make the most sense, so I'm going to sleep until I'm going to have a really long rest. We've certainly earned it. We've earned a long rest. Why am I getting up at this hour? What's going on? This is not night time. I think maybe it's. I think we maybe slept until the hangover's gone away. So I think we need to continue sleeping. We are still not suitably rested. No delay, no time to lose. Okay, Henry is obviously eager to get cracking with this, and therefore we've got to get up. Okay, Henry. I'm, if you you say so, you're in charge here. He's not waiting until night time. He can't wait any longer. He's probably been laying there, tossing and turning. He's adrenaline filled, exactly. He's just wanting to get to bury his parents. He cannot afford to waste any time. Right, the Savior Schnapps has worn off. Perhaps we can be a little bit more quiet now. And there's no guard there this time. So this, we're going to try again. Right, we're going to take a shield. I think we need to take a shield, don't we? And then we're going to try some lock picking. Here we go. So, switching to mouse and keyboard for this because it is easy to lock pick with the uh, the mouse and keyboard, and we've got to be very careful here. Yes, nice job, Henry, master thief here. This is needs must. We don't normally steal things, but this is needs must. Right, get to Talmberg. Get Talmberg armor from the guardhouse above the gate. Right, we need to get the hell out of here. We've got the armor. Oh, oh, uh, hello! No, 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 no. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Think anybody notice if we go into our room and come out looking as, like a guard? Just kind of get changed here, very quickly out of sight. But it's a stolen items that we have, so we're going to put the helmet on. We can put on the red waffen rock. We can put on the hunter's gloves, the padded armor, and the mail collar. Padded quaff and the that's it. Still got our green pants on and our normal shoes, but we are looking a little bit more guard like. So that's the sword at our side. Right. <coughs> guard reporting for duty. A ten hut. 
we can actually go and ask Lady What's Her Face to see if we are looking good. <laughs> but she's not around, so we're not going to we're not going to uh, dally to horse. We need a horse now. One of these horses should be ours because we came in on a horse. Mount and steel. It wasn't a white horse. Horse. Elena. Horse face herself. Are you right. Serious? Apparently, this is ours. Lady Olena. How oh, you have grown so hairy. Did he? Okay. Good day. Excuse me. Well, we have a horse. We have our story straight. We have some coin for a bribe and we have our mail and I'm, I'm assuming that this is the way out coming through important business to attend to sir hello can you talk to people on a horse here oh nope I think you've got to get off <sighs> right let me out. I have important business to attend to. God be with you. Uh, I need to get out of here. Says who? I've never seen you before in my life. And that's odd, seeing as how you're wearing our colours. Uh, the story that we were told to say is that we were sent by Captain Robard to Uzitz. I'm Sir Robard's messenger. He's sending me to Ujits to find out if Sigismund's army has been giving them trouble. I might believe you if I knew who you were. Who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? I'm obviously Yannick of Malesh. I'm Yannick of Malashov. I haven't been here long, but if you had your eyes open, you would have noticed me. Now open the fucking gate, or I'll have to go and get Sir Robard, and you wouldn't want that, would you? Oh, well said. All right. Well all right. said. Play the part well, Henry. That's well done. Cool. And we're out. Oh, hey, freedom! It's not, a, it's not a joyful occasion, of course. We're going to bury our bloody dead parents, but it's good to be out and en route. Okay. Now we need to get... Is there a way to zoom in? We need to go that way. If we're facing that way, it's not a very good map, is it? Hello, Roman. Welcome back. I think it's this way and behind us. There is a bigger. Yeah, how do you get to the bigger map? How do you get to map? Ah, oh, no, that's not the bigger map. Let's say why full screen there you go but it still doesn't really tell you oh zoom oh bloody hell look at that we're in we're zooming now so indeed we need to turn up we need to turn on ourselves and go round and then up through that way so you turn and then just follow the road round Oh, shoot in hell we're getting hungry and we didn't take any food with us we have no food we're only just slightly peckish uh, that's a problem possibly but at a time like this I'm sure Henry is more concerned with burying his parents than filling his belly so uh, we're gonna continue on and hope that we don't die of starvation But if we do find any village pots to eat from, yeah, we'll just randomly rock up. Hello, you don't know me, but I'm just going to eat from your pot. Needs must. I'm on an important mission.
I doubt there's anything left in our home village <laughs> to eat. Yeah, we're going to assume that Henry is rather preoccupied to worry about filling his stomach at this moment in time. He's out of the castle, his adrenaline's pumping, he's going to bury his dead parents. That is the only thing that he is focused on right now. Perpetual stew. Rabbit stew. It's rabbit stew. Tasty. With chunky vegetables. All right, but we're not galloping as fast as we could, I don't think. Oh, it's raining again. That bloody rain. You'll have to wait for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. Looks like they've already gone. Sir Radzig sword. In the hands of an amateur. What church? Wow. This is where the devastation starts, is it? I love this. I actually love this because this is really grim, isn't it? We've got the dead bodies, a horse, blood and guts all over the place. You've got the burning remnants of your former home and then you're walking there in a thunderstorm. The most horrendous weather conditions you can possibly get. It really is a very grim scene. Right, let's just check our map here. Are we going the right way? So we're there and we're kind of walking up and into Scallets. <coughs> Got our sword out and hunger continues to decay. Now, oh! If worse comes to the worst, we're not going to loot these dead bodies because that is certainly not something that we do. But if any of them have sort of food on them, it's a needs must situation. Yeah, the stench must be horrible. Now he's either a bandit, a looter, or he's found a loved one. <laughs> What's that? And he doesn't sound like he's found a loved one. Who Who's goes? There? I could ask you the same question. I just, I'm just walking to Scallets. I'm, I'm, don't mean you any harm. I'm just walking You're past. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh! <laughs> oh gosh! Here. You really don't want to do this, buddy. <laughs> Remember what you were taught, Henry. Remember what you were taught. <laughs> 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 We're winning! We're winning! Die! <gasps> I think he surrendered and we we killed him. We killed a man. Panic, we panicked. We panicked. I think he was surrendering there, but Henry was panicking. He stabbed him through the heart. He's killed a man. <laughs> oh, he's killed a man. It's probably a very shocking situation here. He's probably a little bit shaken. 
He's practised sword fighting with wooden sticks. He's now wielding his father's very own crafted sword and he's used it to kill a man. It was self-defence, it was needed to be done, but it's quite a pivotal moment. A fellow, exactly. Making sure he's dead. Hello? Hello? Could do with a bite to eat. Oh, could, yeah, could I just kill the man? Oh, I could do with a bite to eat. It's hard work killing people. <laughs> Right, we are going to loot him. I'm going to rifle through his pockets. Okay, so he's got weaponry, armor. Um, none, none of it's great quality, but some of it is probably useful to sell. So we're looking at really cost to, to weight ratio now, aren't we? And patched hose weighs one and you can sell it for a decent price. And that's one and can be sold for a decent price, 37 and 39. So we're going to go cost to weight ratio in terms of looting. Uh, and did he have any weapons on him? Did he have any food on him? Nothing. So we, just a couple of items potentially to sell. He had a weapon. Did he drop it? Oh, there it is. Seeks. Seax. It's uh, very poor quality, weighs on a 33 damage, and it's 27.9. Nah, it's not very good, is it? Four point eight. I was looking at cost to weight ratio, and I was looking at the wrong stat. Bear with me. So the weight is there: two, five, and thirteen. Right, look at the stuff that we uh, don't have. So that weighed 1 to 37. Oh yeah, I was looking at the right one. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the shield as well. Bloody hell, with that shield and sword. Ah, yes! Good call, I forgot we got the shield. Henry, of course, mine not on the job. Right, he's getting a little bit hungry now, so we are going to have to go and take up the grim task of perhaps just looking if they've got any food on them. Any any apples or something, just to keep us going. It's grim, but it's, it's it needs to be done. We've got pretzels, which are dried food, therefore last longer. The fruit looks a little bit rotten. Scavenging. This is a life and death situation. Apples and pears not looking in good shape. Bread looks okay. Bit of dried bread. I'm going to keep the pace up a little bit now. It's uh, raining rather heavily and it's really do with the uh, cracking on. If we sprint, do we gain in athletics? Yeah, agility. Because sprinting makes sense rather than jumping around. <gasps> Bandage. And some dried fruit. Okay, this we're not we're not looting, we're just taking supplies that we really, really need. Bread looks okay. Okay, so we've got some uh, bread. That's not food. It is food, isn't it? We've got bread and dried fruit. It probably, well, I know what you mean, actually. <laughs> so we've got a pretzel. We've got dried fruit. And we've got some bread. Talk about a tasty lunch. 
The bandit, all oh, the bandages. Yes, they're not quite food, but they're they could save my life if I bleed out. Yeah, we've eaten food off the bodies of dead people. Right, we're now gonna not loot any more. We've got the food that we needed. We've satiated our appetite, and we've got a bandage. We're gonna uh, let them rest in peace. It's a charcoal burner. He was a hard nut to crack when it came to bartering, wasn't he? Somebody swinging here. Of grief. They really did a number on this village. Why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? go looks like another looter here What's going on there? absolutely you see this is awful isn't it this is absolutely I'm just gonna go round you I don't want hey, any trouble I don't want any trouble no trouble we've killed one person today we don't need any more issues just want to bury our parents Try not to kill who? I didn't kill everybody, I've gone round. Okay, this the way is blocked. Oh, this music as well. It's so depressing. <laughs> it's so depressing. The dead bodies, the burning buildings, the depressing music. The task that you know that you need to complete. It is so miserable, isn't it? And it's, and you know what, also, it's so eerie, isn't it? It's just, there's no life here. Everybody is dead. There's no signs of life, but for a couple of looters. It's just comp like a ghost town. It is just so eerie. Yeah, there's Bianca. There's our, um, our friends. I think he already mentioned that he saw, what's his face, meet his end. Deep, deep. Deutsche? Actually, we could probably... Is there anything that we can loot from here? Rob. This is hardly robbing now, is it? The, the people are dead. It's better to take from here than it is to take from people's pockets, right? Cabbage? I'm looking for something that might be tasty. <laughs> Radish? Can you cook these? Can you cook these things? Got cabbage and carrots and t parsnips and whatever else. Not something to be eaten on their own, sure. It's something you could put into a stew, perhaps. <clears throat> I didn't see a cooking skill. A veggie stew. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be cool if we could make some do. You know, do some cooking. An axe. Can't take it. Need to find a way inside. I think this might be where we whistled and saved um, Teresa 
from the people that were going to rape her. I think this is where we got the horse. Okay, so if we um, got the horse from up here, which means that we ran down this path to get there. Hello, crazy Canuck. Welcome. Right, we're getting nearer to the uh, to the village here, so as we get closer, that anticipation grows, and you just want to get there quicker and quicker and quicker. So we shall sprint. But it's hard work. He's carrying shield now. He's carrying a sword. Carrying a few supplies, not many. And also, when you are nervous, your stamina seems to deplete quicker. Oh, shoot. Dead end. Let me in! Just want to bury my parents. Just let me in. Okay, we've got to find an alternative way in. Right, we're going to take a shortcut here. Hopefully we'll not meet a sticky end. But the wall stretches around. Woodcutter's Camp. Well, the smoke is still billowing here. They can see that we can see the wall leading round. So we've just got to find a gap in the damn wall. Look at this, a little hidey hole. If we weren't on such an urgent mission, we could have maybe rested in there till the rain passed. But uh, so close to our destination, I don't envisage wanting to rest. That looks like a dead end. Henry probably getting more and more desperate now. Every potential entrance into this castle is blocked. It's got to be a way in. And if not, we'll have to force our way through. bodies and a way in this, oh god this, this is probably when it starts to hit home really you're back in your village you're back home and you, 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 you're met with this sight Absolutely horrendous.
Oh, of course, the bailiff. <gasps> His sword. You have a sword. Just looking at all the bodies, seeing if any of them are our friends. Used to buy a sign with the gifts to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me like me. Take the sword, take this. Okay, we'll take the sword. Looting! We're looting dead people here! Oh, I wanted to drop that one. Oh, it's a, it's in good condition! Wow, look at the value of this! Wait a second, what, who was Deutsche? This is Deutsche? Yeah, I hope you feel good for about yourself, Henry. You bloody throwing poo at his house. He stayed and died fighting. I think he's just delaying. He knows where his parents are laying. He's just trying to build up the courage to see them in a similar state to these people. Supposed to be you, Bianca. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. Just wait a moment. I'll take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. She dies with her eyes open and her mouth open. I mean, how awful! Save your schnapps and a ring. The ring you gave to Bianca. I think this is a cute thing to remember you by. Okay. Oh man. Very, very sad. <laughs> Time to sell. You nasty person. Is this. No. Why did he do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Oh, 
That's so sad, man. Huh? Gotta find a shovel. Dog barking. Hello? Coming to the left, coming from down there. Get away, you huh, well, there's a the shovel. <laughs> oh, you stop parking the dog. Get away, you beast. What's going on? It's Bishak. What in God's name are you doing? The Bizek? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Mutt. Isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Do you know that time when I punched you in the side of the head? Probably only yesterday, actually. You know, when I was throwing mud... Uh, forget about that. Can I have your shovel? <laughs> yeah, and as for the dog, he's, he's probably protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? Came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. I need a, I need a shovel. Fuck you. It's <laughs> a bit random. How did you manage to get away? How do you think I ran? Well, he's full of the jo Is that. Do you know that re relationship at the side? It says 96. Is that his disposition towards me? Because considering I punched him a couple of times, it's quite high. <laughs> do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her. God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Okay, he sounds very concerned. Well, uh, the spade? You know, to bury my parents? Seeing as you don't need it to fend off the dog now. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it anyway? Uh, no. My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that and where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take him to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. Okay, well, he's not given us it, and we can either tell him... You know what? Fuck you. I see a cunt remains a cunt, <gasps> no matter what the situation. Oh, whoa! Okay, that that ticked him off, naturally. We just called him a bloody C-word. Okay, we're off! Both! Bang! Get me out of here! Oh, yes! No, you don't. Come on, come on, come on. Uh. Uh. Come on. Yeah. 
Ooh, ooh, he got me there, he got me there! <laughs> got you again. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Flipping out the grappling! <laughs> Gotta be quick. Blocking a lot. I need to get some combinations in here. Oh, you're on a log, pal. Come this way. Bang! One, two, three, combo. Oh, got you there again. Oh, you got me that time as well. Okay. Ooh. I think we're doing not too bad. Yes, I think I'm winning this fight. Just about. Ah, got you again. I can grab him, right? That's right, turn tail and run, you bastard. Oh, I think that was a victory. We, we got a few we got a few beats there though. Mind you, we had some protection. Yeah, I think Henry's gonna have to work on his stamina, isn't he? He's gonna have to hit the gym medieval style. There's a good boy. Easy there. Okay, okay. You know me. Your good master won't be needing this anymore. So we got the spade. It wants to be buried beneath the linden tree. You can loot your own parents' bodies. Just want I'm not gonna loot them, I just wanna see if they've got anything like a keepsake or something. Nope, just a coin and a pretzel. Oh, the man with his straw cart. He's gone. <coughs> the forge <coughs> is destroyed. It's Mama's last pretzel. Our house. A ruin. Rob. This is our flipping chest.
You're gonna like it. What an unenviable task. Look at the dog. Bless him. Good boy. Let's get to it. See, dogs know good people when they see them. And they know assholes as well. I love dogs. I do. She's six now. In fact, scratch that. She's probably no. She's seven. Damn it all. Some help. Oh. Oh my god. Is it him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? You prick. Who are you? What do you want? We're gonna keep Let's going till about eleven o'clock. Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers. <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. I don't have much. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Uh, that is the thought. Uh, it is my father's sword. Jesus Christ. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Oh, you bastard. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt. I... Runt? Bastard down. That's an ironic name if I've ever heard one. As you like. Jesus Christ, that is a big thing he's gonna swing Stop at us. You, thief. Ah! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Henry, you should just give the man the sword. Come on, this is not worth having your head knocked off. Whoa, whoa. He's slow, though, right? He's slow. Oh, oh, oh! Well, that was quick. <laughs> That was very quick. Never get a swig you of. How it would end. Oh. You should have listened to me. It's probably a scripted loss. You can't beat him. Look at the state of him. He's this massive, nice heavily armoured. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, <coughs> for the maiden bloodletting. Oh, yeah, I don't even dare father, hit the dog. I never would have imagined it would be your blood. Are you happy? A word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Henry, you're screwed. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Oh! <laughs> Teresa! The games are over. Don't! Yes! The cavalry's arrived! Fuck! Oh, it's a robot! Yeah, you bastards! Look on that! The question.
question is then, if we didn't save her, would she still be alive? Well, she'd probably be alive, but she'd just have been desecrated, right? Get in, Sir Robert, eh? Came to the rescue. Yeah, she seems like a, uh, an important character. <laughs> Okay, we've been streaming for three and a quarter hours, and now we're getting the uh, the, the intro credits. That is a nice introduction indeed. <laughs> three hours of scene setting. Oh, that was good, man. That was good. I don't mean that in a, in a way like that was <laughs> that was good fun. You know, it it, it was. Uh, oh, Brian Blessed! That was a, uh, a really enjoyable, in a very perverse kind of way, introduction. And the dog is there as well. Yes, the dog is coming along for the ride. Look at him, look at him. We might have to give him a name. Although I don't think we get to keep him, do we, on our travels? Bruno. He looks like, oh, but we may come across him again. In the case we do, we're going to call him Bruno. Bruno the dog. Oh. We will have our Bruno. We will have him. We'll come back for you, Bruno! When the game allows us to, we'll come for you. I know this game has, or, you know, it still has its bugs, I imagine, because I don't think they've patched them all yet, but. Uh, it, if you look past them, and I'm not one that really gets annoyed too much, unless it's a really, really bad bug, but the, the atmosphere, the setting, the, the characters already, I feel attached to, you know, the characters already. The wiliness, the diplomacy of Sir Divish, Sir Roba there, riding on in, and even Teresa there. She's helped us, I can imagine we are going to have a developed a bond with her, you know what we saw when we gave her the nails. The hell is this? Oh! Well, I think we'll be taking it. Henry seems like a, a ladies man. <laughs> well, it's hard not to be when they throw them themselves at your feet every five minutes. I don't know where on earth we're supposed to be going here. I can't see anything other than Black, red, and white. We're being chased. Why? Guys, no! I'm in a dream! You. Oh! No, I didn't mean to do that! Unlock, unlock, run! Where am I going? Ah! This is disorientating! Second like dream I can't wake up from. Fine, kill me. Kill me, you bastards. Kill me. If it allows me to wake up, just kill me. Run. I can't make my mind up. Should I, do? Should I be dead? Should I be alive? Oh. oh. Just kill me, goddammit. Oh, I've been recharged. Oh. Do you need some help?
Oh, we're going to have to see somebody about these dreams. We need to unburden ourselves. We need to tell them our troubles. We need a psychologist here. Ma? Can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. Ma, is that you? It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Do you still have your teeth, though? That's the question. <laughs> Where am I? We look a bit battered and bruised. In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. He slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I, I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You want me up to tell me to sleep? You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. Okay, we've got some questions. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. Well... No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Your loved ones are dead. My loved ones are dead. We have a common link there, common bond it's almost like fate in a perverse kind of way oh, I'm exhausted I'm not surprised I'll bring you water and something to eat in the meantime, rest you're still very weak yes ma'am and even later good morning to you how's the invalid today? I oh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. She still hasn't washed her face. <laughs> uh, well, we know where we are, don't we? We're in Rite, aren't we? Maybe he's a bit confused. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rite Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Adzik. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. 
That's a good deal of the coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. We do indeed owe you our lives. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Food on the table? She's a lovely host, isn't she? She's a lovely host. Oh, can I get some... A word with you, young fellow. Huh? Yes, sir? Be a bit more careful. Sorry. Oh. He wanted a word with us, but he's run off. Well, they may just get changed and uh, have something to eat. I mean, we are rather hungry. Ooh, sweet pancakes. Oh, well, we take some of them. She can bake pancakes. Put some out for us when we wake up. She's a keeper. There's a customary pot of stew. But no, we're going to have a change today. Change of pace. We're going to have some sweet pancakes. They haven't filled us up massively, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll do for now. Okay. We have no items. I'm assuming that uh, they are in this chest. Aha! Take all. Looks like a fine sunny day outside, so we'll uh, embrace the air very shortly. We just need to put some clothes on. And seeing as I don't think we are going to be encountering too many enemies right here in Rete, I think we'll don our casual attire of green shirt, uh, old boots, red scarf and tight olive hose to show off our thunderous thighs they are a bit dirty could do with them being washed but uh, perhaps that's something we can achieve here okay so we need to speak with uncle peshek here who's walked outside he sounded rather annoyed to be honest. Sorry, Uncle Peshek, gonna have to wait. I'm just admiring this lovely place we've been brought to. Oh, he's walking right for us. He's walking right to us. Uh, hello, Uncle hey, Peshek? Youngster. Yes? Come. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. Ooh. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? I say it sounds shady. Asking what he needs. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. Oh, that sounds straightforward enough. <laughs> Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples 
<laughs> scruples. I love that word, scruples. I don't know what it is about the word scruples, but I absolutely love the word scruples. And that is my day, that is my word of the day for tomorrow. Tomorrow I shall use the word scruples in some context, whether it be at home or at work. That is an awesome word. Have you no scruples, man? Uh, no. Anyway, his job sounds like we're going to steal something from a corpse, and that is certainly something that we're not going to do. I mean, considering that his father's just died, what his father said to him about life, and, you know, he seems like an honourable chap, we're kind of like, no. Our father would not approve of this. We'll pay you your money, uh, but we'll raise the money ourselves. I'm not sure dealing with corpses is a job for me. I don't want that kind of stain on my conscience. Or my reputation. Find someone else. Wow. Suit yourself. I gave you a chance to work off your debt. Don't think you can wriggle out of it. I want my Groshen back. And quick. Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. Oh boy. Leave me. Teresa, where have you brought me? Your uncle has no scruples. <laughs> Obviously, he thinks he can do whatever he pleases. Right, we need to pay him his groschen, and I th think if we go to the quest log, does it tell us exactly how much? Right, vengeance. We need to get our father's sword back and uh, find Mark Vart von Aulitz and avenge your parents. That's probably a very long term objective right now. A bit more short term. Go see Sir Radzig. Yes, but even shorter term than that, we need to pay this man's debt because he sounds like he could cause us some concern if we don't. So if we go for info, is there a way to read the quest log here? 50 groschen. Okay. Hello everybody. We're going to go for about another half an hour. Okay, so we picked up on our travels, we picked up a sword here, that's worth 27.9. You won't get that from trading, you won't get the full price. But this shard here actually is the only weapon we now have because we got our other sword nicked from us. So I don't really want to sell that. But we have a load of items that we could possibly sell here. So we could sell some stuff until we get 50 groschen. That's the priority right now. So we're going to head out into the village and see if we can find somebody to trade with. I think that's the best way to raise the money. So we'll go to every building we can possibly find looking for a trader. Hopefully we can ask the villagers maybe where a trader might be. If we can't find one in here, there's bound to be one in the castle. This is definitely our priority. Greetings. Oh, she's running off. Maybe it's the smell. <laughs> We're looking like a, a, a haggard wreck with bl bruises all over and cuts. And our clothes are dirty and stained. <sighs> okay, we're going to talk to first of all about where we are. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wild tales, but I heard truly terrible things. We have, we have scruples. We have lots of scruples. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? So effectively the refugees would be the people that have come from Scalitz, right? So our villagers that have come here for their, you know, fleeing for their lives are now viewed as, as refugees, as are looked down upon. I mean, how bad is that? What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. 
That dog in the background doesn't happen to be uh, Bruno, does it? And she's a tanner, apparently. Which means that our, our little poxy stained clothes won't reek half as much as what she has uh, had to put up with. Anyway, we can trade with her. She sells in hides. And that's it. And bandages. But we don't need those now. We need money. We could pawn off Bianca's ring. Oh, that is desperate times, isn't it? That is desperate times. If it gets that bad that we have to pawn the ring off, that would be a massive blow. Right, we need fi what do we need? 50? Even this mega sword that we picked up did not does not even cover it. And this was worth a hundred and something. We're not getting anything like a decent rate from this woman. Right, I think we're going to sell a quaff. Because we picked up that to sell, didn't we? What else? This has got no, no, no durability to it. Kind of, but it's not even worth anything. It's not even worth, the padded quaff. What else did we pick up off that body? We picked up... Uh, What's the bassinet? What's the bassinet? The common bassinet's the helmet. Yeah, we're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna be doing much fighting in the near. I could be wrong, actually. I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming that now that we're in the safety of the town, we won't be doing too much fighting in the near future, so we can just kind of get rid of some of the stuff. I picked up something off the body. Uh, I'm gonna sell the sword, actually, as well. So I mean. <laughs> This is urgent time. We need this man off our back, and therefore, the non-essentials really do need to be sold. The padded quaff. Get rid of. I think it was a padded quaff that we might have picked up off that uh, bandit. So we're 34. We're getting there. We might be able to get a little bit more from haggling, but not too much more. We need to sell this sea axe. So 41. A shield. We could go short without shield. 58. So we can always pick up a helmet at a later date. You know, we're just we're just we're just prioritizing here, and the priority is getting this man off our back. We don't like the sound of owing him fifty groschen. So uh, we're selling. Check, check the basket. So we're selling a couple of the things that we picked up off the bandits and the sword, the shield, which we don't really we don't need for now, and the helmet. I think that's uh, that's decent. We can fix the sword. Sell it for more. Oh, we can fix that. Well, I assumed we could probably fix things, but I don't know how at the moment. So for the time being, we'll just sell and uh, have done with it. I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? So we can get 58 from her. I owe the apothecary as well. I thought he paid the apothecary, so I'm paying him back for what he paid the apothecary. I'm going to go for 64, not be too greedy, because we are not looking good in our finery here, so she's probably not going to go, yeah, maybe lower. I think 62. What about this? We're getting there, just drop the price a bit more. 59, wow, okay. Uh, 60? Aye, that would do it. Okay, so we have 77 Groschen. Oh, we had Groschen left over from before. We didn't need to get the full 50. We got the bribe money, I forgot we got the bribe money. Never mind, doesn't matter. Of course, we have just woken from a very terrible injury. We're not thinking straight. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. I've got the money to pay that debt. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Hand it over. That job's still going. If you're interested. Uh, no, thank you. I'm not interested. 
okay, so you can we can ask him to teach us to pick locks. Pickpocket. Yeah, we're gonna turn down this job just so that it doesn't keep asking us about it. That job you wanted me to do, I won't do it. I pay both you and the apothecary, so we're even. You're an ungrateful pup, aren't you? Well, suit yourself. If you ever need anything, you know where not to go. Farewell. Oh dear. I think we've cut our ties with this man, haven't we? Just double check. God be with you. <laughs> He's changed his tune very quickly. So he looks like he's a potential fence. Miller's is obviously code word for someone that deals in the dark arts of thievery and pickpocketing and stuff. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through. Even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Okay, so uh, other millers then. You've an honest trade. How come you got mixed up in crime? Evil times. The harvest <clears> failed. <throat> and there was no grain to mill. And a child to feed on top of it all. I had no choice. And meanwhile, the lords in the castle and the monks in the monastery stuffed their craws to burst it. Where's the justice in that? So you took justice into your own hands, is that it? And now you take whatever you need? Pull your head out of your ass, Henry. And take a good look around you. Wars come and go, but nothing really changes. It's the poor that do the dying, and the nobles who reap the rewards. We have to survive somehow, so why concern ourselves with morals? Okay. Can you tell me... Okay, that'll do for now. That's all. That'll do for now. So we can... Uh... Uh, yeah, as I said, we can practice picking locks, practice pickpocketing, um, which we may do because we may need to pickpocket or we may need to pick locks for a good cause. You never know. There may be a time. But I think that might be it for the session. I think this is a good natural place to leave it off. We've reached a new location. We've paid our debt and now we're free to explore at our leisure um, oh look at this beautiful a murky river yeah I think we'll end the session on the river's edge the sound of the water all very peaceful yeah I am really, really enjoying this game. Uh, I've had a little bit of a practice for about an hour or before starting the stream, but after the part where we got to um, got out of the castle, that was all blind. Um, when, we, when we managed to get the horse and get out from that point onwards. And we've come here and uh, we're now ready to explore. We can... I'll, uh, I really could play on for another couple of hours quite happily, but I've got to go to bed very soon because <laughs> I'm at work tomorrow. Uh, so uh, the next stream of this will be next Tuesday. Um, I will be streaming Divinity on Saturdays, although this week it will be on Friday because I'm going out on Saturday. 
Uh, and then when Divinity finishes in a couple of weeks or so, this will be on Tuesdays and Saturdays. The stream is going to be uploaded to YouTube, but unlike my usual uh, streams that I leave, I just leave them to go up straight away, uh, they do suffer with a, a bit of an issue where they only play the last two hours of the stream for about 12 hours or so. So I'm going to private the, 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 uh, the post-recorded session and only put it up live when it's fully processed. So uh, that should occur sometime tomorrow afternoon for those of you that missed the live session. So this is going to be a regular stream series. Yes, it is. I'll be doing a lot of stuff off camera in terms of leveling up and uh, just random exploring and, and, and practicing with saws, practicing with bows and things to get a handle on which ones work best. Some people are asking what kind of a style I'm going to adopt with Henry. I'm going to be adopting initially a sword melee style because that's what he was interested in. He's, he was hell bent on sword play lessons. He's begging his father to teach him to use a sword, so that seems to be me. That seems to me to be his interest. But if we do end up picking up a bow and using it and practicing with it, it may shift depending on what he finds easiest to use or most useful in certain situations. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy seeing how the character develops. I've already, you know, I'm already liking some of the, what well, I'm assuming are the main characters. So I uh, really think I'm going to enjoy this one, and I hope that you guys will enjoy it with me. So thank you all for coming, thank you all for watching, and uh, enjoy well, the rest of your week, whatever you're doing, and hopefully see some of you for Divinity, but if not, I hope to see you all next Tuesday, around about the same time, for... Yeah, we've made that, yes, we killed one, we've killed one person, I think, this entire session, we've killed one person, our first kill, we will always, always remember it, it will linger in our memory, we killed a bandit with Sir Radzig's sword. In a fit of panic, the man was surrendering and we stabbed him through the heart. <laughs> In a fit of panic. We jabbed him, we stabbed him with a jab. <laughs> oh dear. And Henry, Henry freaked out after it. He freaked out for a little while. Yeah. But as he gets used to things, and as things the story develops, I'm assuming that Henry will become more proficient, become more used to killing people when needs be. You never know, he may become a battle-hardened warrior. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. So, uh, as I said, thanks for watching, and uh, as per usual, see you soon. Yeah, it'll be roughly the same time next week. Either half past six British Standard Time or 7pm. One or the other. See you later. Oh, I better save it as well.